Oh, welcome back to the Weekly Weeb. <laughs> I need to work on a better intro for that. All right, so Star Wars Visions is out, and we know that there are going to be seven studios working on the animations across nine episodes. So we're going to do a quick rundown for the episodes and the production companies that are going to be working on these episodes, plus what has the production company worked on before. Now, I'm familiar with a bunch of these companies, but there are also a few that I am unfamiliar with. And because I'm super weird, I really don't want to super dive into the episodes. So I'm not going to be looking at the episodes to see what the synopsis is going to be or anything along those lines. I like to be surprised when September rolls around. So episode one is called The Duel, and it's made by production company Kamikaze Duga. Uh, ho -ho. and they are responsible for Batman Ninja and Jojo. So, if you're a fan of Batman Ninja, and if you were a fan of, if you are a fan of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, then Kamikaze Duga is definitely, like, their episode is definitely going to be up your alley. I would more or less expect that their episode is going to be full of, like, super weird shit. Like, I would hope it's full of super weird shit. Like, maintain that JoJo energy. Keep the JoJo energy. Moving on, we're going to episode two, Lop and Ocho, made by Geno Studio. Uh, I am actually not familiar with Geno Studio. It looks as though they do Golden Kamui, uh, Kokoku, a lot of Golden Kamui. What is this? This looks kind of interesting. Gia... Gia Kikatsu Kicken. I may have to save that as something that I need to come back to and watch at a future date. Moving on to episode three, we've got Tatooine Rhapsody. Now, that one kind of already gives itself away. It looks like Tatooine Rhapsody is going to be the one with the kid who jumps into the air and he's like, Are you ready? And they're done by Studio Colorido. Ooh, I'm familiar with this one. So we've got Burn the Witch, Penguin Highway. This studio's their animation is gonna be really good and their music is definitely gonna be uh their music is definitely gonna be super good as well. Episode four, the twins, also episode five, the elder. Both of these seems as though they're going to be a part one, part two story, and they're made by Trigger. And this is definitely the one that has that Luke Skywalker feel with the chick sitting on top of the ship with like the six lightsabers. So of course the studio has made Kill a Kill, excellent. Darling in the Franks, excellent. Little Witch Academy, dope. Uh, what else do we have here? They've got Prom Air, super dope, which means that the music in this is going to be fire. We've got SSSS Gridman, the Kill a Kill specials. Anything else in here? Inferno Cop, like be prepared. Episode, what is this? Four and five is going to have dope music, super dope visuals, over the top shit. I wonder if it's going to be more over the top than, um, what studio was this? Kamikaze Duga working with JoJo. It may be more over the top than JoJo, but we'll see. Episode six, The Village Bride is made by Kinema Citrus. Um, also another super dope studio which means that animation is going to be crisp, Black Bullet, um, Shield Hero, more stuff Shield Hero, Code Breaker. What else do they have that they've made? Made in the Abyss, Under the Dog. So, oh, they also did Hack or Dot Hack. This studio is definitely also going to have super crisp, super dope animation. So if you're familiar with um, Shield Hero, then you know, like, you know what exactly what you're walking into. Episodes 7 and 8 are made by the same studio. I do not think that they're going to be a part 1 and part 2. Episode 7 is called Akiri. No, Akakiri. And then episode 8 is going to be called T.O.B. 1. And this is made by Saiyan Saru. Devilman Crybaby. Super fucking dope. What else is on here? There's a lot of animation stuff that like I haven't seen from this studio before. Huh. This is, I'm adding so many, I'm adding so much new anime to like my watch list. It's not even funny, but I'm super familiar with Devilman Crybaby. Um, the animation's kind of weird. I always felt as though it was super weird on Netflix, but it is definitely going to be super dope to check out 
their episode as well because their episode may be an episode that has like a lot of blood and gore i would hope so like keep that devil man crybaby energy and then the ninth and final episode is done by production ig and ladies and gentlemen this is the one this is the one that i'm waiting for because production ig does attack on titan which means i'm expecting dope ass music baller ass fights crisp ass animation and a story that i'm gonna fall in love with like just i don't even have just look at look at the list look at uh, look at the li v vinland saga look at the list guilty crown look at the list attack on titan oh th they've made heavy hitters they've done heavy hitters the Magus's Bride, they've done heavy, Evangel, they've done heavy hitters. So I can't wait. Like, I feel as though Episode 9, The Ninth Jedi, is like, we're gonna get all the way to Episode 8, and we're like, yo, this series is super fucking dope, man. Like, it's hella dope. I don't think anything's gonna be whatever my favorite episode is, and then we get The Ninth Jedi, and The Ninth Jedi is gonna be absolutely fucking amazing. And I can't wait, because production IG is the truth like yeah yeah just 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 look at all the stuff that they've worked on fuck it beautiful i love like this is the only studio in my opinion that i'm super familiar with and i can't wait oh. <laughs> but that's star wars visions that's the nine episode count and the seven production companies that are going to be working on it i cannot fucking wait this drops on september 22nd 2021 and i'm going to be locked in Peace.